Thalassemia is an inherited blood disorder in which the body produces an abnormal form of hemoglobin or oxygen-carrying protein. Presence of faulty hemoglobin results in large-scale destruction of red blood cells, which leads to anemia. About 100,000 babies worldwide are born with severe forms of thalassemia each year. Thalassemia occurs most frequently in people of Italian, Greek, Middle Eastern, Southern Asian, and African ancestry. Hemoglobin consists of two different proteins, an alpha and a beta. If the body doesn't produce enough of either of these two proteins, the red blood cells do not form properly and cannot carry sufficient oxygen. The result is anemia that begins in early childhood and lasts throughout life. This disorder can be classified into two types, alpha thalassemia and beta thalassemia. The severity depends on how many of the four genes for alpha globin or two genes for beta globin are missing. It is estimated that 1.5% of the global population carries genes of beta thalassemia. Thalassemia is caused due to particular genetic defects which are inheritable. Alpha thalassemia results due to mutation in the genes HBA and HBA2. Beta thalassemia is due to mutations in the HBB gene on chromosome 11. Symptoms depend on the type of thalassemia and can vary from mild to severe. Anemia can cause pale skin, fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath. Patients may also suffer with an enlarged spleen, jaundice, dark color of urine, and loss of appetite. Thalassemia patients can get an overload of iron in their bodies, which can lead to damage of the heart, liver, and endocrine system. Children can suffer with slow physical growth and delayed puberty. Abnormal heart rhythms and congestive heart failure may be associated with severe thalassemia. If adequate iron chelation therapy is not provided, almost all patients accumulate potentially fatal iron levels. Diagnosis of thalassemia is typically made by blood tests, including a complete blood count, hemoglobin electrophoresis test, and genetic analysis. Prenatal diagnosis of thalassemia is best carried out by chorionic villus sampling in the first trimester of pregnancy. Treatment of thalassemia depends on the type and severity. Treatment for the severe form of disease often includes regular blood transfusions, iron chelation therapy, a process by which excess iron from the body, and supplementation of folic acid. Bone marrow transplantation may be used to cure the condition, especially in young people who have a human leukocyte antigen matched donor. Success rates in bone marrow transplantation have been in the 80 to 90 percent range. For more information about list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.